The company is fast retailing. It owns Uniqlo as well as other brands as well under their parent company. This deal could be worth as much as $5 billion. That's according to people familiar with the matter. Now, fast retailing, their number one goal is to expand and to be the world's number one clothing retailer. So they're hoping that by scooping up the company that's known for the scoop tees and also the cardigan cashmere sweaters, which the of long course... The underwear that we need here. Yes, which of... <laughs> yep, but in, in J. Crew on the J. Crew side, you know, that, that brand, that preppy cardigan, those preppy colors are huge, uh, have a huge following in the U.S. Michelle Obama is one of the brand's biggest followers. She uh, visibly always is usually in something J. Crew, whether it's a sweater or a t-shirt. So the company is hoping that by getting Michelle on board through uh, having her being one of the big fans and by expanding their presence in the United States, they will get to be that goal, which would be the world's largest clothing retailer. They want to compete with the likes of Zara and H&M. There are more than 500 Uniqlo stores overseas from China to France. They're going to be entering into Australia and Germany later on this year. In the U.S., they entered back in 2005. They had that store uh, in Soho in New York. They now currently have 17 stores across the United States. And so the company really looking to uh, hope that this partnership will result in both of the companies really growing the brand. I'll mention that J. Crew is privately owned. It's owned by TPG Capital as well as Leonard Green. And run by Mickey Drexler, mm -hmm. the, uh, the CEO who had turned around Gap, turned around J. Crew as well. Um, there was talk, though, that J. Crew was thinking about an IPO, and yeah. it looks like there's more of a partnership. They're really looking to expand here in Asia. Yeah, and again, we... Uh are hearing these details from people familiar with matters. So yes, perhaps J. Crew is eyeing an IPO. This is not the first time that that news has been in the headlines. Uh, of course, as a privately held company, you usually get asked that question quite frequently. There is another company here in Asia, according to Reuters, that has expressed interest. That company is called Eland. Eland um, and J. Crew not commenting on this partnership with fast retailing. So for now, uh, you know, it seems that we're just based on we're, we're giving you the information based on the details that are provided to us. But this could be a big deal if it's worth five billion dollars in the fashion industry for a company that prices itself below you know the alexander wings but above the zaros and h&m this could be a very unique spot for that aspirational consumer Got it.